So today we're going to talk about regrowing vegetables from scratch. If you haven't already, you want to make sure that you download the informational packet that looks like this, titled Regrowing Vegetables from Scratch. And that'll give you all of the items that you need for this activity. The only other two things you need are a shallow dish of water and the end of lettuce. There are many different food scraps that you can try and regrow. I've chosen lettuce simply because it's the easiest, in my opinion, to measure um, vertical growth. And so we're gonna use this end of lettuce. So you can see that I cut off any extra leaves. I did leave about an inch and a half of the lettuce stalk along with the base right here. And what we're gonna do is we're simply gonna put this into a shallow dish of water. I maybe have a centimeter or half an inch of water in this dish. You just want the water to just cover your base, okay? And then you simply put this dish with your lettuce scrap and your water in a sunny window and just leave it be. Now watch, when it starts to regrow, it will start to regrow from the center. And so you should notice small leaves starting to protrude from the center of your food scrap. And all you wanna do every other day, you're gonna to wanna to measure that growth. So you wanna get a ruler and measure in centimeters. And it might be half a centimeter you can estimate how much growth you see within two weeks time. If you don't want to use a centimeter ruler, you can also use like a paper clip or some item for units, like it grew half a paper clip, it grew a whole paper clip. But if you've got a ruler, definitely measure in centimeters and we'll see how much growth you get in two week time period. Another thing you're going to want to do is make sure you change this water daily. You'll actually notice that the water will probably turn a little bit more of a yellow color, maybe even a greenish color every day, um, because this base is still living. And so um, it'll start to turn a little bit, uh, maybe brownish or, or yellow. Make sure you do water changes daily. You should also see, after about a week or so, some roots start to sprout up here. They're very, very fine. They're usually white. They may almost look transparent and they come from this center stalk here. If it feels at all slimy, you wanna make sure that you rinse it with tap water just from the faucet to clean that off. It just means that there's a little bit of mold and fungus starting to grow, which we don't want, because we wanna be able to see just how long we can get this to keep growing. I've successfully been able to regrow a scrap, put it in my outside garden, and actually harvest lettuce again. So they don't all work perfectly. It depends on the type of lettuce, it depends on the season of the year, it may just depend on how fresh the lettuce was when you picked it either from the grocery store or your farmer's market. So do not get discouraged if you don't see a lot of growth, okay? This was romaine lettuce. I found romaine lettuce and green leaf lettuce work best. Um, you're not gonna get the same kind of growth if you're gonna use um, maybe iceberg lettuce. They also don't have a really good stock to come with. Um, even if you happen to be at the grocery store, some places sell lettuce where they have the root ball attached. You could do that as well, put that in the water and you'll probably see a whole lot more growth because the roots are already established. Anyhow, really simple, just to review. A very shallow dish of water, the end of your lettuce, pop it in the water, put it on a sunny, sunny windowsill and then wait for some growth to appear. Measure that growth every other day for two weeks, and then we're gonna plot that data in class. All right, happy sciencing.